Today, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to configure name standard named ACL. So we have a certain task to configure this entire topology. Uh, first, uh, we need to configure the initial configuration as we have mentioned in the task one. So uh, in this task, we need to configure the router interfaces of router one, two, and three. Uh, so let me maximize this picture and you can see there are three routers router 1 router 2 and router 3 so in the initial configuration we are going to configure these interfaces like router 1 have two interfaces f0 by 0 and f0 by 1 as well as right uh, router 2 has three interfaces 0 by 0 f0 by 1 f1 by 0 so these are the interfaces that we need to configure and router 3 has two f0 by 0 and f0 by 1 so here we are going to configure the subnet uh, is 192.168.22.0 slash 24. Here we are going to 33.0 slash 24. And uh, so and the other thing is uh, in this interface of 0 by 1, uh, we have uh, one PC, PC1, and we are going to give the IP 1.5, 192.168.1.5. PC2 is 192.168.2.5 and PC3 is 192.168.3.5. So uh, this is the our first task to do the initial configurations, the interfaces. Then we are going to configure the EIGRB with the autonomous number 100 on router 1, 2, and 3. Okay, router 1, 2, and 3. After that, uh, if you go down in this uh, post, we have another task known as task 2. So in this task 2, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to block the 1.0 network from accessing 3.0 network using the name ACL and also we are going to permit rest of the traffic. So if rest of the traffic means uh, if anyone is ping from 2.0 network, he can ping. But if any traffic is coming from 1.0 network, it should block. Okay. So. So let's understand from the diagram perspective, if any, if this PC is try to ping or try to come in this 3.0 network, it should blocked, it should blocked here. So we are going to apply the ACL here. So if like if 2.5 is try to come ping this 3.5 PC, then he can do that. Okay. So let's uh, go with the task one. Let's configure, let's start our GNS. Uh, topology so we have already configured we have already mentioned all the subnets all the ip addresses here so let's start in gnc you can click on the start button so you can see all the interfaces are showing green now you need to go to the consoles now to go to the consoles you can go two ways either right click here and go to the console click here okay and other thing is click here so what it will do when you click here it will start all the consoles for all nodes so when i click here you can see all the consoles are coming up this is router 3 this one this is router 2 this is router 1 and these are the pcs pc3 pc2 and pc1 so uh, let me going to start with the router 1 first then i'll come to router 2 and 3 so router 1 has two interfaces So I'm going to configure first F0 by 1 and then F0 by 0. So let's go to the global configurations mode by using the command config terminal or conf t. Okay, now uh, let's go to the interfaces, interface F0 by 1 and specify the IP address, IP address 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask. Enter the no shutdown or no shut so that your interface will come up you can see you will see the one message here it is so your interface is up now let's go to uh, the interface f0 by 0 and specify the ip address 192.168.22.1 and the subnet mask we are giving uh, the class c subnet mask no shut again so that your interface will come up and you'll see one message yes now it's up 
so you have already you are now we have configured the both of the interfaces let's go to the router 2 the router 2 has three interfaces f0 by 1 0 by 0 and 1 by 0 so i click right click here then i'll go to the router 2 let me a little bit increase the size of this terminal okay so let's go to the global configurations mode You need to spell correctly now you need to go to the interfaces first I'm going to configure this f0 by 1 interface f0 by 1 then you need to specify the IP address 192.168.22.2 and the subnet mask then no shirt so that your interface will come out so uh, one interface is completed let's go to and configure the f0 by 0 let's give the IP address 192 68 2.1 and the subnet mask let's give the no shift command okay second interface configure let's go to f1 by 0 then specify the IP address see the diagram here and configure and give the IP addresses when I do 168 33.2 and the class C subnet mask once this is done click exit okay everything works fine if you want to see or check any interfaces type do show ip interface brief so here you can see that our fast ethernet 0 by 0 0 by 1 and 1 by 0 is configured and up okay let's go to the router number three this one we have two interfaces let's go to router three okay let's go to global configuration mode now you need to go to the interfaces interface f0 by 0 ip address 192.168.33.3 and the subnet mask so no shut exit now wait okay now your interface is up now go to the interface f0 by 1 give the ip address 192.168.3.1 and the submit mask no shut to make your interface up wait one second one or two seconds okay so this is done now what we are going to do is let's go to our uh, task we have done this one we have configured interfaces now we are going to configure the EIGRP protocol so that all the routers know where are the other networks. So to configure this, you can take help from here also. I have already configured and published the post. So this part we have already done. So only the router configuration part is pending for the EIGRP. So we are giving the going to give the command router EIGRP 100 and the network so so these are the in this router one we are going to advertise 1.0 network and 22.0 network and for router two we are going to give 2.0 network 22 and 33.0 network for router three we are going to advertise 3.0 and 33.0 network so let's go and configure okay <clears throat> let's come to router one again I'll show you one more thing and that let's go and check it out what are the routing table is there anything on the routing table or not for that you can use a command show IP route so you can see there are only two uh, directly connected networks C means uh, connected okay so there is no EHRP till now configured okay so let's go and uh, we'll go to the global configuration mode and configure the EHRP EIGRP and you can see now you need to enter the autonomous system number so let's take you can take autonomous any number from between 1 to 65 535 so I'll take in on uh, as per the example 100 okay now you need to give the network network uh, one is 192.168.1.0 and 
168 22.0 okay that's it so this is done let's go to router number two this one right click again go to router two now give the command router eigrp autonomous number is 100 now advertise the network network is i need to advertise 2.0 22 and 33 192 168 2.0 network 192 168 22.0 network oh so you, you can see that some edges in c is changed between the routers okay uh 192 168 33.0 now so we are done with router 2 let's go to router 3 router ei grp 100 100 is autonomous number and the network 192.168 3.0 okay so this is the network then the network 192 168 33.0 okay so this is done so you can see that here are some tables are exchanged so let's check it out our show ip routing table show ip route do show ip route because we are in a global configuration mode so here you can see uh, the alphabet which is connected C means connected. So these are the directly interfaces network 3 and 33 for the router 3, 3 and 33 network. Okay, and which is showing D, it means this is these network are coming from the router EHRP uh, that we have configured. So now you can see 22. Now router 3 knows where is 22 network now. Out of three, also know where is 1.0 network and 2.0 network. Okay, so we are done with this. Okay, now the next task is uh, configure IP addresses on PC1, PC2, and PC3. PC1, this one, as we have already uh, discussed earlier, PC2, we are going to give 192.168.2.5. And PC3, we are going to give 192.168.3.5. So these are the VPS, VPC systems. So we are not going to, we have not used a Windows 7 or any other because we want to save the memory. So let's go, in, let's go and configure these PC IP addresses. Okay, let me open the PC one. So uh, if you don't know how to configure IP addresses here, there is a basic command like IP the address that you want to configure in my case 192.168.1.5 slash 24 will give the class c address sorry subnet mask and the gateway 192 for this pc the gateway should be 1.1 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.1 okay now it will check for the duplicate addresses okay now it give the so now uh, you can see that 1.5 is IP addresses. If you want to see the details, you can type show IP. So here you can see the name, the IP address and mask, a gateway, DNS, MAC address, port, local port, remote host port, and the MTQ size. Okay, so PC1 is configured. Let's go to PC2. so pc2 is uh, we need to give 192.168.2.5 slash 24 and the gateway 192.168.2.1 will be the gateway address for this pc okay we are done let's enter the command show ip one more time okay done. so let's go to pc3 now So PC3, uh, we need to give the IP address 3.5, 192, 168, 3.5, slash 24, 
and the gateway 192.168.3.1 okay. cool. now it's working uh, let's check it out PC3 uh, can uh, from PC3 can we ping PC2 and PC1 so let's ping from PC3 192.168.2.5 and here you can see we are able to pay so this is uh, what we are going to do is we are checking actually we are able to reach uh, PCs which is connected on different networks so let's ping PC1 also PC1 is 192.168.1.5 okay we are able to reach so uh, we are able to reach because we have configured out our EHRP okay now from PC one let's ping pc3 192.168.3.5 okay we are able to reach okay if you don't want to uh, see by default it is sending five uh, ping packets right so if you want the number of counts you can also do that in vpc spcs uh, 192.168.3.5 uh, you can give the command uh, hyphen c and two suppose i want to send only two packets so it's in only two packets right okay let's ping pc2 also we got five hyphen c2 okay that is 2.5 so we are able to ping okay let's ping from pc2 also ping uh, let's ping pc1 from pc2 192.168.1.5 okay it's working and let's ping pc3 also 192.3.5 iphone c2 okay the command is bad oh so this happened with you sometimes then you need to close this and you stop start and go to the console again and give the IP again 192.168.2.5 slash 24 and the gateway address 192.168.2.1 as we have mentioned here okay so let's ping pc3 192.168.3.5 yes we are able to reach okay so we have completed our initial configurations as we have uh, mentioned here now we are going to uh, configure the task 2 okay so here we are going to configure the task 2 task 2 is we need to block 1.0 network from accessing 3.0 network using named ACL standard named ACL you can say and also we need to permit rest of the traffic so here is a command you can see and uh, once you are configured then you need to apply the ACL on the router interfaces so let's go on a GNS let's minimize these pc windows we'll use it later and go to the r3 because we need to configure the acl here on the f0 by one interface okay we are in the global configuration mode so the command uh, to configure the standard acl named acl is ip access list standard you can if you don't know the command then you can press the question mark sign then press standard and give the name suppose we give the name is like block okay then okay now what do you want to do you want to reject the packet then you need to enter the command deny okay okay deny then i want to let 
specify the network like 192.168.1.0 and the wildcard mask you need to define wildcard bits 000255 okay now uh, we also need to permit rest of the traffic so we'll give the permit command permit any and that's it so now uh, we are going to apply this ACL on F0 by 1 interface and to apply this IP access group the name of your standard ACL okay access listening we have given the access listening is block okay oh sorry we need to give one more thing and that is the directions where you want to do so here the packet is coming from the output directions like if this ping won't if this pc ping the pc3 then the packet will reach to this interface and it go outwards direction so the packet is going outside right so we need to do is we need to mention the direction so out that's it exit from the interfaces now let's go to the ping pc1 and ping pc3 ping 192.168.3.5 you can see this is blocked okay let's go to pc2 also and we'll try uh, can we able to ping or not from pc2 so we have not blocked pc2 so it automatically reach to pc3 192.168.3.5 here you can see it successfully reach so uh, as per our task from pc1 we cannot ping because we apply the acl as we have mentioned here so that's it so this is how you can uh, configure standard name ACL on GNS3 this is one of that example you can do multiple uh, examples based on your requirements or multiple scenarios right so keep in touch with uh, so keep following uh, kalinetworkers.com we will meet you soon on our next video. Thank you.